lie, I'm like orange. I'm not gonna lie, I'm liking this trend of making dessert first thing in the morning. Because the girls are at it again. They're making chocolate orange cake. Are you making it, Rose, with mommy? No. Mommy, yeah, we got the paleo flour mix. We got egg, oranges, cocoa powder, coconut sugar. It's gonna be good. I'm not gonna lie, I'm liking this trend of making dessert first thing in the morning. Because the girls are at it again. They're making chocolate orange cake. Are you making it, Rose, with mommy? Mommy, yeah, we got the paleo flour mix. We got egg, oranges, cocoa powder, coconut sugar. It's gonna be good. All right, we got the fresh OJ here that Rose just squeezed from mommy. We got pasture-raised eggs, orange zest, coconut sugar. That'll be the wet team here, although you gotta measure more with Rose because she always drinks it. All right, Rose has tried every component of the cake. It's basically mixing in her tummy as we speak. This is the dry team, which is the paleo flour mix, the cocoa, the salt, and the baking soda. Now we're gonna add it to here and bake it away. All right, batter is locked and loaded. Rose is loaded with batter too. Uh, we're gonna bake that in the oven right about now. Cake smells good in the house, y'all. Wanna hear a funny story? Remember last month when Brad was here and we got the new Birch mattress in the mail? Birch saw that story and they sponsored my YouTube video today, which is really cool, but the bed is legit. So I set it up last month. The cool thing is that it's made in the USA and it's 100% organic. Jesse did a ton of research even before uh, we got the bed about mattresses. There's a lot of toxic beds out there, but there's a YouTube channel called The Slumbar Yard and Birch is one of the it's 100% organic, it's four ingredients, it's made in the USA, but they gave my YouTube fans a sweet promo code and I figured some of you guys might be interested. Um, if you use my link, it's $200 off the mattress. It's a 100 night trial, so if you don't love it, you can return it and it up. And it comes with two free pillows, really, really comfortable and it's really, really clean. So if you wanna try it out, swipe up. Birch is legit. Okay, 35 minutes has elapsed. We gotta check it here. It should take 40 minutes, but this oven tends to run a little hot here. I have my high-tech instrument. The toothpick will go straight in the middle. I don't know, it feels done. What do you guys think? I say donezo. Once the cake cools down, we'll make a glaze with some uh, hot water, some uh, orange juice, and some maple syrup. Donnie's on to lunch here. She's been making a lunch soup that are killer. This is a butternut squash soup. Uh, so, so Luke Alt Gardena, Dani? No, a little onion from the garden. Very cool. Speaking of cool, look what I found in the back of the pantry the other day. This really nice uh, water pitcher. It's a French company and it's made with uh, French burgundy clay. Red burgundy clay. Oh, we oui, oui, mon seri. Look at this soup that Dani made for lunch. Oh, so much flavor. Warming some leftover uh, tenderloin tips right there. Got my dessert ready right there. I'm assuming yes, but do you want the recipe for the cake? It's really tasty. But the soup, so done, it tastes like the garden. It's super fresh, yum, oh. I just got back from the gym. I'm gonna go to Whole Foods and get stuff for dinner. And I realized I didn't give you the recipe yet for the chocolate orange cake. I'm leaving you in the dust there, but we got you. On the blog, there it is. Gluten-free, paleo, fantastic, swipe up right now. Rose, where are you going? Slow down. Rose, join me at the grocery store. She's snacking on chips. You couldn't wait here. Baba Dani and Desi are here too. Uh, we've got some sale items, my friends. The uh, Siete, the original Siete's are on sale here. Not as good as the but best in class and pretty much best price for a grocery store. And they have the new churro chips here, which are good, but they're a little more expensive. They're like over a buck, a buck 20 an ounce. It's pricey. Ingredients are amazing, but they're like, Buenuelos, the Buenuelos they had for the holidays, but they're not quite as good. Waiting for the CFA potato chips, they don't have them yet here. Those are fantastic and they're fried in avocado oil. The Whole Foods in uh, Florida has some butters that I never saw back in Chicago. And first of all, there's a big sale. The Kerrygold, that's a great sale price. It's almost as good as Costco, but Kerrygold is 80% grass fed. This is cumber on the market. It's Irish grass fed butter that's 95% grass-fed and non-GMO. It's on sale right now. This is the salted one, I believe. That's okay, I don't really mind it. 260 is, that's cheaper than the cop price for 
Kerrygold, which is inferior to this because of the higher grass fed and higher butter fat. European is higher butter fat. American has more water. Water is not what you want with uh, butter. You want fat. And this one is great and that price is winning. Yeah, that's just pointing at the uh, creamer section here because you didn't know there was a liquid. Yeah, she didn't know there was layered liquid creamer. Uh, it's relatively new to the grocery store. The cool thing is, Whole Foods, I found out, is the exclusive to the turmeric. And the cool thing is, the ingredients, just like the powdered one, are epic, right? Just a little bit of coconut cream, a touch of coconut sugar, but only two grams. And they put the functional mushrooms in there, too. This is so good because there's no natural flavors. And this always cracks me up. We know natural flavors are prevalent. But when you see something that says French vanilla, and you don't see any vanilla in the actual ingredients, just natural flavors, that's a warning sign to you. The Laird liquid is really high quality. I'm super happy to see it in the stores now. I think Rose needs her own series. Rose shops the grocery store. She's wandering and snacking. It's hilarious. <laughs> and pushing her heart. <laughs> Wild salmon is on sale at Whole Foods, so I'm going to bake some of that. I got some uh, Brussels sprouts. I'm going to make some salad, but I want to make a maple glaze for these Brussels sprouts. So first, I'm going to roast them with avocado oil, salt, and pepper. Nice socks, Rosie. Dang. Watch where you're going. Careful. Careful. <laughs> roast them. In the last few minutes, I'm going to put a maple syrup and maybe like olive oil glaze on there and get them super crusty and caramely. Sound good, Ben? Sounds good. All right. This is proper color on the Brussels sprouts. are pretty much done. But I just mixed up some uh, top shelf maple syrup, some lemon juice, some mandarin zest, some of my favorite coconut aminos teriyaki, a touch of top shelf uh, extra. Mix that up. Pour this over here. Now, you could only bake it another three-ish minutes. Otherwise, the maple syrup is going to burn. But, oh, this is going to get super tasty. All right, these are done. You don't want to walk away. They're going to burn. Oh, Desi, do you approve? Wow, looks good, man. That's gonna be fierce. All right, it's salad time here. This thing is huge now. I gotta harvest it pretty quick. It's getting too big, actually. Let's get some of this peppery arugula here. This is mature arugula, nice and peppery. We'll get some of the kale over here. I've pretty much gone through all that. I like to put a little bit of mint in there, too. And then the mystery lettuce. I don't know what this is, Rose. Do you know what that is? I still haven't figured it out. Someone had some good guesses last time, but I'll take some of this. What the heck is that? That's cool. And this, too. It's like all spiky and everything here. I'll take it. Dinner's ready. Super simple. Super tasty for Baba. Jerez felicito voy a siamga. No, She likes it a lot. Oh, super. Okay, Mom. Mommy likes it, too. Mommy likes it, too. Fantastic. The only about and coho is that they're very lean very meaty fishes so there's almost no fat so it's very hard to cook which is why i douse it in the uh ghee and do low and slow but still it's not like a fatty farm raised or a fatty king salmon it's so darn good for you and with the uh, brussels sprouts i mean look at that open up try one of those that's good rose and i are crushing this morning thanks to baba of course we got the omelet we got the avocado Rose loves the keto toast with the uh, veggie cream cheese on there. Man, oh man. Collagen tea to start the day. Does it get better, Rose? No. No, the answer is no. Any day is.